All right, let's boot this thing up. It comes on up. It's just a basic e-machines laptop, nothing special. It's a full Windows 7 customization. Let's see. zombie screen. Let me see. Let's get it going up here. Oh, I'm a retard and I didn't push in the right password. Let's get down to it. We'll look over here. Um, you can see the mouse. We have instant. We got log off. And shut down. Restart. Sleep. It's a Google toolbar. So you can search the internet without actually having to be on the internet. Spell checker. Just a standard recycling bin. And then... You see there's a few things up here you can look at you click on here brings up a custom task manager and then you got your I have an F drive listed here and then the C drive uh, some bookmarks where you can instantly just get online without having to go anywhere you got YouTube Facebook Deviant Art, and they're really awesome at making creative things for computers. And then Google, and we got our calendar. Let me go to this thing. This is Nexus. It's not Rocket Doc or any of that crappy program that. And I clicked on Google Earth. Let's see. Now oh, get away from Google Earth. Bring Nexus back. There it goes. We have Google Earth, Custom Firefox. We have My Documents, that's the Necronomicon. We have Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis 64, the controllers. We got our U-Torrent, our Peer Block with a nice chainsaw. Uh, Windows 7 Manager, awesome program. Control Panel, Speed Fan, which does all kinds of nifty things for the computer. Rain Meter, which helps with some of these effects that we've got going on. Uh, custom iTunes. Then we have Windows Media Player, which is a Decepticon, because Windows Media Player sucks. Um, VLC Player, which is an Autobot. And the reason why I have VLC Player as an Autobot is because, we'll click on it. And as you can see, there's a custom VLC Player that is Transformers. So we'll bring up, we can add a file. We'll add some uh, True Blood. Everybody likes some True Blood. Uh, it's in HD. And let's see. Here to go. As you can see, it plays really well. Um, then over here, uh, we have you know just a clock. The battery life shows that I'm on an AC line. You see that AC line instead of I'm on battery. Um, and then there's another animated clock here, which just looked cool. Um, then we have our CPU meter, which is actually right there. Shows me how much of the CPU is be used, being used. We have our RAM meter right there. Um, then over here, I don't have iTunes running. If I did, though, you would have the artwork right here. The name of the artist, the song, the album, and it plays on its own. You don't even have to have iTunes going. Um, then over here is a uTorrent. And that's if you're into downloading, you know, that uTorrent hides itself. You don't have to keep looking it up and pulling it back to see how things are going. It'll actually list all the files right here. Um, down here, we have our network. Shows my up speed, my down speed, and the number of megabytes or kilobits uploaded and downloaded is right there with it. Then underneath of it, which shows the wires, wireless connection, how much of a signal I have and then underneath it it gives me the SSID of the router that I'm logging into. And over here we got our network info. I know it's kinda hard to see. It's got my uh we got the host computer, 
our LAN IP, our mask, and our DNS server that we're logging into. Um, then over here we look at this. This is all one touch. You can access the C drive. Notice the hand. Uh, the E drive, which on this computer it would be the CD-ROM, DVD-ROM, and then um, we have the F drive, which is for flash drives. So you can just pull those things up. You don't really need anything. Uh, you look down here. It's got a custom taskbar. Everything is centered. And then all your 2,000 word, seven word expression things are down there. Um, we had a custom start button down here. I don't know how well you can see it. It's the Punisher symbol. I've literally got about four to five hundred different start orbs that I can change and modify. And I can't tell if you can see it, but the cursor is actually breathing. Um, and I think that's about it. I mean, we go up to Nexus. I can pull it down. Um, you know, we have glass all glass and my documents is all clear um, let's you know we go to downloads is all clear um, documents all listed there notice how when I move it around you can still see the background it's all clear and uh, what else I think the only other thing really show as far as the interactiveness is the start menu itself notice how when I click it it's all animated so, and I guess that's pretty much about it. Uh, not limiting to what it can do. You know, I mean, if you want to play some Nintendo 64, Genesis, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, uh, everything's patched in. And we've got our IR4 over here. And our uh, videos is actually the hand from Evil Dead. Um, but I can do this, and I can literally do it, and there's thousands of different comp... Uh, combinations so um, you can just let me know if uh, you're interested in something like this it's very uh, easy to do it takes me about a day because it's a lot of work it really is but it's pretty cool and at the end of the day you have a fully interactive desktop that you don't really ever have to go anywhere into your computer because everything's right there and as you can notice you look at the RAM it's not really eating up many resources at all and the CPU it's running pretty clean so, uh, and this really isn't that amazing of a computer as I showed. It's just a basic e-machine that you can get for three, three to four hundred dollars at Walmart. So, and it can do all this stuff. Imagine if you had one that was, you know, like two grand, the uh, capabilities that would be behind it.